सो वेलकम गाइस वेलकम टू डे थ्री ऑफ अल्टीमेट लाइफ रिफाइनमेंट सिस्टम दिस इज अ पाथ ऑफ विन ओवर योर सेल्फ द पाथ वन ऑफ अल्टीमेट लाइफ रिफाइनमेंट सिस्टम एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्रिएटिंग योर परफेक्ट आइडियल रूटीन नाउ यू आर ऑलरेडी ऑन डे थ्री ऑफ अल्टीमेट लाइफ रिफाइनमेंट सिस्टम आई होप यू आर वेकिंग अप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग एंड ट्रैकिंग योर प्रोग्रेस बाय क्लॉकिंग इन एवरी सिंगल डे सो डिड यू क्लॉक इन टूडे नीड टू क्लॉक इन बिफोर 5:59 a.m. so we can track your progress right what's in today for you well today guys we will be talking about three main mistakes we do while planning a routine so you need to ask yourself the three main mistakes you do while planning your daily routine we will move on to the next topic that is micro goals management that is to do list we already are aware of this to do list we normally make up to do list but there is an actual standard way of making to do list so we'll be talking about that then we will move on to ideal daily routine that is the main topic of today's session which includes morning routine work day routine and evening and night routine then i will move on with the today's take away task and then i will finish up today's video with take away final words so before moving to this i would like to ask you whether you have completed yesterday's task did you wrote a check to yourself did you remembered and identified your short and long term goals did you remember what smart goals are and what do you mean by epe gs formula did you made your goal card and laminated it if you have not then go for it i am sure it will work for you so before diving into today's topic i would like to just remind you that today's session may not be most productive for every person i know there are some creative people who don't like to follow routine but personally i have found it useful in fields that i worked in and for most people 99% of people having daily routine is a big big asset so unless somebody like you who really like to have a free flowing day some writers or you know some artists people like that because they like to have a deal like that they don't want to follow normal routine they just want to have a free flowing day so that is completely your choice but for 99% of people including myself i do recommend that you create the perfect routine and try to follow it as much as possible now before making our daily routine we do have to take following points into consideration which are actually three main mistake we do we often ignore while planning a routine you need to ask yourself three main mistake we generally do the first mistake is we don't know where we are right so we always move on with you know life like a robot and we don't know where we are going where we are heading we need to measure and improve we don't plan right we simply make routines which are unproductive and unrealistic we have to analyze and measure our track we have to analyze and measure our routine we have to analyze and measure every task we do everything we do since morning to evening now the second mistake we have is we plan more but we cannot do the task often we think that while planning daily routine we need to do lot of work we generally don't understand what actually routine means it is not like doing lot of work it is actually doing systematically the task which are important and that has to be completed according to their priority we often increase our workload or our work from 2 hours to 10 hours and accomplishing it becomes quite impossible so we need to work on that and then the third major mistake we do is we take drastic changes instantly we take big steps very instantly very quickly it take time for your body to adapt sudden change right and sudden changes are not practically possible so we need to start slowly and steadily achieving everything fast is not our motto it take times for the things to happen even if you are going for extreme routine don't do it for more than 3 months don't extend it more than 3 months go for some scheduled entertainment or recreational activities in between now i want to talk about this in detail i have a practical solution to this three main mistakes since we use mobile phone we all have smartphones with us nowadays there are plenty of application which allows us to track record everything we do from morning to evening 
Use any application to record everything you do from morning to evening, excluding emergencies, functions, or engagements, or any visitings. Don't change anything in your routine. Keep it as usual. Here, be honest in that, as you will not be showing this to anyone. It's just to track your day. When the day ends, sit and find out how much time you are spending on work and how much time you are spending on unproductive work or entertainment, etc. Now, the idea here is to double your productivity. It doesn't mean that you have to completely exclude your entertainment. We just have to double our work. That's it. Don't make it complete work. Just double off what you are doing in normal days, as usual days, before. Instead of 2 hours, make it 4 hours. That's it. Now record the second day and notice the change. See what are the things you did and what you could not. Then on the third day, make the adjustment and record. I will give you the link of the application down in the description. There are plenty of applications. You can download any other application. Even if you are not downloading my application, no problem. You can download many applications. So, here you understood the three main mistakes, right? You understood how to first record yourself, how to go from low productive hours to high productive hours, and finally, how to avoid burnout. Now, next topic is micro goal management that is to-do list. We already know about this, right? So here, we normally block our time for work, study, etc. But we do not know what are we actually going to do. These tasks comes under micro goals or normally we call them as smart goals. Now here we have to arrange them according to their priority, specificity, achievability and time bound, right? We heard about to-do list as I told you. We need to arrange our task or micro goals into a to-do list. And for this, you have to install an application called Time Logger and to-do list mobile application in your mobile. The links I have already told you, I will be giving you the links in the description. You can download it from there. You can start right away. Inside your time block, you must have a good, clear, executable task the night before, one night before. Create this to-do list as a part of your night routine before you go to bed, right? So, I always love to do it at night because uh, when I wake up in the morning, I know exactly what I have to do the next day. Automatically, it gives us confidence. It boosts our enthusiasm because we know the exact task which we are going to do the day which we have planned. Before you go to bed, let's take a piece of paper. Write all your task and then enter it into the to-do list of your mobile in the priority that is important. So the high priority work will be given number one and the other work according to priority and importance will be given number two, number five, number six, etc. This way you have your highest priority task on the top and everything is ready for you one night before. This is how we plan our to-do list one night before. Now, ideal daily routine. Every one of us are different from one another. We do have different job profiles and work atmosphere. Basically, there are four major components of ideal daily routine which makes a person successful. The first one is morning routine. A morning routine is of 60 minutes or a morning routine of 60 minutes is ideal. What we do in the 60 minute? First of all, for example, if you are getting up at 5 a.m., we get up. From 5 a.m. to 5.15 a.m., we make our bed and freshen up. And then from 5.15 to 6.15 a.m., we can meditate, exercise, read, that is to upgrade yourself. Now, meditating is just like, you know, we can do prayer. Exercise is like our body exercise. Any exercise comes under this. And then reading, upgrading ourselves. And these you have to divide each component that meditation, exercise and reading into 20-20 minutes each. That actually equals to 60 minutes. Now, here the idea is to create one of the most important part of your morning routine is in the morning you are not only preparing yourself for the day but also for your life. Now, next component that is workday routine. It may be broken down into small and specific tasks this is where you can apply smart goal concept which we discussed in the last video. 
in the workday routine we may work for 8 hours 10 hours or 12 hours or even just 6 hours it does not matter about the time but you need to have them broken down into your to-do list in smart task this is how we plan our workday some things you may not be able to plan or some jobs you don't have you know you don't know what is going to happen at right time but that is completely fine plan what you can and prepare for the rest now the third component of your ideal daily routine is scheduling entertainment you have to make sure that your entertainment which you schedule should not be non toxic and addictive i hope you understand what i mean to say non toxic means it should be not creating any side effect on your body or your mind and addictive means you should not get dependent on it right the type of entertainment varies from person to person like maybe you want to watch news for one hour and then maybe you want to play with your kids whatever schedule your entertainment this is just to prevent you from any kind of burnout you are undergoing now the fourth component of ideal daily routine is evening and night routine and in evening and night routine you need to do journaling planning that is to do list we already discussed and goal card also we discussed so we need to go for this three journaling planning to do list and goal card so what do you mean by journaling journaling is actually going as a systematic way to do the task which you have planned for the next day we can follow one method that is peak journal method by ivy lee method ivy lee was an actually productivity consultant and he explained his executive within 15 minutes in 1918 that how we can achieve peak productivity by doing a simple daily routine so we will be discussing them in five steps the first step he advised is at the end of each working day write down the six most important thing you need to accomplish the coming day the tomorrow do not write down more than six task now second step he told is to prioritize those six items in order of their true importance means you need to give the priority to which task is important and keep it in the highest position when you arrive tomorrow when the executives comes for the work tomorrow concentrate only on the first task the first task work until the first task is finished before moving on to the second task now the fourth step he explained is approach the rest of your list in the same fashion at the end of the day move any unfinished atom to a new list of six task for the following day sometimes it happens you know if you plan six task a particular day we may not be able to do that particular six task we may able to do only 2 3 4 5 any task which is unfinished which is not done can be taken to the or can be forwarded to the next working day you can repeat this process every working day so this is a very simple daily routine to achieve peak productivity we can apply this in our life we can do this so that we can become more proactive so from today onwards at least you need to do these things i hope you will look at them every night before going to sleep start doing these all things from today onwards so the daily routine includes your morning routine your work day routine your schedule entertainment and your evening and night routine now moving on to today's take away task first of all step 1 is to download the time logger and to do list applications in your mobile phone then record your entire day then third step is at night you observe the recorded day and see if any changes are required in that particular day like i said you any unproductive work which was actually taking more time then fourth step is to plan your daily routine the coming day and incorporate this micro goals to do list schedule entertainment by doing journaling into four major components of daily routine you have to do it like morning routine work day routine 
scheduling entertainment, evening and night routine. Now fifth step is to find the deviation and make necessary arrangements or adjustments. Observe which task is taking long time and when adjustment we do, we can do it to avoid overlapping. You can change the time of the task if required. You can remove any task if you are not doing them like if they are not actually possible. The main goal here is to make you productive and slowly, slowly, day by day, you will surely see the change in your productivity and self-satisfaction. Your subconscious mind will be getting right inputs towards achieving something concrete. Now, today's takeaway words. The secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. Said by Mike Murdoch. Is it not true guys? It's true actually. If we work upon our daily routine, then definitely this will reflect our journey towards our goal, which we want to achieve as soon as possible. So, thank you so much guys for listening to this session. And I hope you all will incorporate these changes into your daily life. And you will be very much amazed to see the results you will be getting practically and logically. Thank you.